Hi everyone, this video is to address some issues that have come up in the previous versions of Gaia updating certain features. Um, they've become problematic for a few tutorials. And uh, one of them, of course, is the fact that the direction, which you can see on the dwarp, uh, has been removed from the displace node. The dwarp node is ultimately the node that they want you to move towards using in the future. This place is something that they actually want to discontinue coming from uh, Gaia 2. But as it provides certain functionality, and of course it's linked to a number of existing tutorials, um, I'm going to come up with some temporary solutions for now. And in talking with the quad spinner team, uh, they're looking at with the next update potentially re um, replacing the uh, the nodes functionality for that so that you will have the the direction possibility added back in uh, the dwarp node uh, if you want to replicate some of the look that you get uh, the displaced nodes rugged mode can be somewhat duplicated using uh, adjustment to scale and warp frequency in order to get something a little bit uh, tighter and more uh, sharp edged and the result will be that you'll get similar sharp edged features that you can see like these down in here. So you can see that same kind of ridge feature. Another thing you can do if you want to use the iterations is the iterations can be done via a loop function that you can start the loop begin and the loop end. You know, get a streaked function, you just have to determine the number of times that you want that to iterate. The difference between them is that the displace going up to, say, 5 here, it's not quite the same strength. And if I were to increase the strength, let's try the same amount there, you can now see the streak functions. But you notice it's a bit more jagged, and that is exclusively because the loop is looping whatever is um, directly chained within it. However, the Perlin is not directly chained with it, which means you're only using that one version of Perlin. So if you wanted to do something, say, perhaps a bit more random, uh, you could potentially do that by rather than looping just chaining a few of them together and while yes that's a little bit tedious again as i mentioned the hope is that uh, they're going to bring that feature back so this is sort of like a temporary fix another issue is in sat maps uh, the team provided you with a whole uh, slew of nice little additional textures so if we go in here and we were to look from a previous version, you would notice that in the green section, you would have roughly 55 new sat maps that were added to it. Unfortunately, what happened uh, was that they were added um, closer to the beginning, and so that offset a bunch of the numbers. So for much older um, files and, again, older tutorials, you would have found that they don't match up. So the magic number is just to go ahead and add 55 to whatever number it was supposed to be. So if you had, you know, 200, uh, you just change it to 255 and you're good to go. So once again, the issue is that there's no rotation currently, but potentially in the next coming update that will be fixed. And then the other one is that the sat maps, which will not be changed because it's been a while since that change was made. Uh, but if you're using something older, just add 55 to the number and uh, it should match again.